There's my clouds today. I can actually see the mountains. Right, day three in wet season is almost impossible to do by foot. Because it's wet season, you have the avalanches, which turn to small streams down the, down the mountainside, which in the wet season turn into rivers, and they block the, the trail by the river, w what we're supposed to be walking along today. You have to walk along the road. It's a long way, and uh, it's a pretty boring walk. What everybody, everybody is doing is getting a lift. Nobody's walking, so yeah, let's make the tough choice. We're walking, we're walking, we're not cheating. We're gonna walk this whole trip. Like, look how beautiful it is out here. I don't wanna sit in a car or a bus. We're gonna walk. We can do it. Now the problem we have today is that we didn't leave until half seven. That's very late, considering the amount of distance we've got to cover today. And we actually didn't get lunch again, did we? No. Thing is, they were all saying back there, you have to get the bus and you have to get the car and that, but you can just walk along the road. It's just a longer route. You know, I was thinking it's gonna be like a, a tarmac road or something, you know, just boring. This is nice. Listen to those birds. So nice. Fuck, I don't know where to go. What way should we go? That way. Down? Yeah. You reckon? Oh. Black chickens. Yeah. Oh, he's got well cool colourings. Like a velvet green chicken. Be a shame to eat that. At this place. Look at that cat, that's so cute. <laughs> it's cute, he's trying to catch the birds. Yeah. <laughs> ah, and if you're sat there wondering, how comes there with two other people? I thought everyone got on the bus. Well, when we got off and decided to walk, these guys decided the same. They said they're crazy Canadians and they're just gonna go for it, so there they are. Lucas and Marcel. Quite nice dudes actually for Canadians. So we're gonna walk all the way down here, all the way around, and we've gotta go all the way around there. Good times. Okay, so we are now at the bit where he said, don't go down the trail. Now the trail is down there. That goes all the way around. He says in wet season, that is impenetrable, apparently. There's still something in me that says, fuck it, let's just go and see how bad it is. I've got to take my shoes off, I don't mind. It might be quite fun. But Natalia wants to go the safe way. Over the bridge and follow it all around this way. I suppose we better do that. I think, check this out. The ground is bubbling. And it smells like sulphur. You have all this yellow here. No idea exactly what this means, but I can smell sulphur and I can see the ground is bubbling. If you know what this means, please educate me, it'd be great. Right, let's go to safe running, shall we? Or you want to go the dangerous way? Safe Pedigroso, way. huh? Safe way. Safe way. Right, guys, Nat's got, gonna tell you about what route we're choosing to take now. She's growing a pair. What route? Oh, we're taking the actual all trails route, which is apparently, according to our uh, hostel host, dangerous because of landslides and all that. But we're gonna do that way because it's nice. And actually, this is my favorite day so far for walking. It's not that taxing, not like walking up a mountain where you can't breathe, so I much like it. Lovely. Yeah. Here we go. My sort of route this is. This will be fun. It looks looks a bit more difficult than that route, obviously, because on a road, 
you're going to go such gradient and it's always a little bit smoother well it's already a bit landslide-ish yeah we don't know if we're going to be able to get through here but it's part of the adventure isn't it why we do these things i don't want to walk along the road come on you see this that is fresh horse or donkey shit that means somebody has crossed through here so it must be penetrable i don't want to say the dude was trying to get an extra 20 solids out of each person but we're calling his bluff right now aren't we what were you saying about it not being taxing today yeah because you wanted to go the tough route oh it's a lot of uphill i was happy on the road i was really happy on the road Yeah, this route is pretty sketchy. That is an avalanche warning sign. Okay, yeah, it's pretty dangerous. All right, we're about two hours in now. And we've come this far, look. We started down here. Uh, Chuale, we went through Kola Pampa, Kola Papampa, which, Kola Papampa, which was the little village we went through that was really nice. We're here now, that's two hours worth, and we're going to. Oh my god. I don't even know where it is. Yeah, there. Here. And we're only two hours in. Yeah. We probably need to actually uh, pick up the pace a little bit, keep dilly dallying. Didn't even need to bring food. The forest is providing us with the treats we need. That probably lasts me about. In fact, it's probably already been used. I'm trying to breathe and talk to you guys. There's more. Oh, that's, a, that's a big one over there. That's already been had at. Oh, I ain't eating that. Still got the bug on it. It's landslide here. Heavy rainfall causes the ground to um, gain weight and then it just collapses. This, this right here is why he said it's too dangerous to go this way at this time of year, but here we are. The good thing about going this, the dangerous route is that it's only 14 and a half kilometers long. If we went the roadway, which I think the road is up there and follows it along all the way around over, over there. If you go that way, it's 18 kilometers. So we shaved off a few kilometers by going the dangerous way. But uh, yeah, if, if we can't get through, then we have to walk all the way back and we won't be going anywhere tonight. We'll have to go and stay back at that hostel again. In all seriousness though, it's a good thing these strawberries are here because we're running very low on rations and where we thought we were going to get in the bus today with everyone else we didn't buy any still we also didn't buy lunch for the second day in a row so it does not bode well we're not being very smart but it was a, a split second decision where i just thought fuck this we're walking we're not getting in the bus we're gonna man it we came here to walk and walk we shall i promised you guys that we would do it and we would not fail and we will definitely not cheat. I'm probably gonna be eating these words if this path is impenetrable, like the guy said, because I have to walk all the way back and I'm gonna feel like a complete mug. But right now, this feels pretty damn heroic. Yeah, a bit dodgy. Oh shit, you're all right. What? Me up. Oh my god. In, just as well it didn't happen over there. Yeah, do you wanna... Numpty. Wow, oh. that's Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. I missed that. I think I nearly got on camera to be honest. I'll turn it on just as you did it. Check out this plant if you haven't seen this before. 
How cool is that? Run your finger along it and um, it closes up. Apparently it's really good to help you go to sleep as well. So if you're ever stuck in the bush and you need to get to sleep, cook up some of that in the tea and that will help you go to sleep. Look at this, found a little settlement. He must take that trip up the trail every time he needs to get something. Look at this place, it's a well nice little spot. Beautiful. Look at all the different flowers. Wow. Welcome to Wino, Wino Poco Camping Paradise. Not wrong. Now this is like a little oasis. Look at this. Oh, this is so nice. The temperature is perfect as well, by the way. I think it's about 16 degrees, guessing. Oh, there's a dog. And another black chicken. Oh, you can usually get refreshments here. I guess it's not open now. Yeah, off season. Probably. Off season, yeah. Probably not expecting anybody to be silly enough to go this way. <laughs> that right there, that's how they get supplies across. So they put them in the little basket and pull them along. And uh, it means that they don't have to go all the way around the trail to get uh, supplies like food and meds, whatever. And if you're wondering, where's my, uh, where's my trusty stick that I've been saying is so necessary this whole time? Well, Lucas has got bad knees, so I've let him use my stick. But uh, I'm finding it actually very easy without it. I think where it's not so steep, it's actually faster without the stick. The stick kind of, I'm killing my momentum every time I'm digging it into the ground, you know? So I'm finding it a lot easier without the stick on this easier terrain. What the fuck was that? Jesus. Massive bug on my hand there, man. Ah, uh, yeah. Come on! What the crap? <laughs> They're stinging me! <laughs> oh my god, it's got some bad blood. There was one on my hand. Yeah, there was one on my hand. <laughs> oh my god, that's really itchy. Ah. Come on. What the fuck was that? I don't know. Got stung on the thumb. He did get me. Ah, yeah, they're like real skinny wasps. Did get my thumb. That's been done quite badly on the thigh. Ah, oh. thanks nature. Very humid today. It's way, way humid, more humid than any other part of the trip. I think it's where we're a bit lower in altitude now. We can, you know, that from the f bugs. Another landslide. There. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's getting a bit dodgy now. I haven't seen any horse shit for ages. Woo! Wow, a lot of landslides. Good fun. This is what it's all about, man. Adventure. That's what I love. A little bit of danger, a little bit of excitement. We don't walk on the road. All right, we're three and a half hours in now. Let's show the guys how far we got. Started here, we're here, and we've got to get to... About here -ish. About there. Oh, we're not too bad. We're, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. This. Used to be a, uh, should have been a refreshment spot at some point. It's all overgrown now. Abandoned. Oh, look at the sheep.
stretched out down the road but that uh, can cross the river here. Really? <laughs> now that would be an adventurous river. She says we can cross on that. Hello, Piggy. Oh man, that would be like one of the wildest things we've done on this trip. Now. Oh, no. Are we actually going to do that? Oh, no. Or either that or walk all the way back? Oh, wow. Oh, we caused 10 solos to cross. Oh. I think we try that way. I think we oh, should. Sí, 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 yeah. yeah. She was trying to get us to go across on the bloody food delivery service over the river, which would actually be cool. I'm kind of half hoping that this is closed over here because that would be a cool thing to do, go over the river on that. She said it was, she'll, she'll charge us only 10 soles each, which is about two pounds 10. And that's saying she'd be too scared to go on the thing across the bridge. But I think I'm probably the heaviest one here. If I go first and it holds me, everyone knows it will hold them. And I will go first in the sense of adventure. You can see now that nobody's been through here in quite a while. Definitely got to make sure we don't stand on any snakes or spiders now because that is going to be a very awkward scenario. Shit. The end of the road. Ah, uh, nah, it looks a bit too dangerous. There was a path once here. Completely washed out. I don't think we're going to get over that. But I look at the edge over there, you see there's just no, there's nothing to stop you falling into the river. I don't think it's worth it. Yeah. Nah, fuck it, I'm not doing no more. That is definitely not doable. Especially not with Nat and not with our bags. That is not. Mm, that is not smart. Nat's pretty scared. She doesn't really want to go in the basket. So either that though, I'll walk four hours back that way. There's nothing to be scared of. That was good fun. I didn't really enjoy it as much as you did. Her heart rate was 143 beats per minute good just fun. by standing there thinking about it. <laughs> We're now on the road we were supposed to be on from the start. That was really nice over there. Not Obviously not going to recommend anyone to do that and I don't want to be responsible for you if you do fall in the river. But that was good fun. That's all I'm going to say. Look at that up there. That's a farm. Imagine having your farm that high up on a hill. How do you even get to it? It's just cliffs everywhere. Probably because it gets the sunlight up there, but everyone lives down here. It's good to know that the guy at the hostel wasn't just trying to rip us off for 20 solos each to get a lift in the car. It's nice to know that it actually was washed out and that he wasn't lying to us just to make a bit of money because some countries we've been to, they really do play on that. This place is loaded with farms. I think they're called the Grenadier and they've got avocados on this side. It's a really nice place here. This is, a, this is probably my favourite. Oh, I don't know. Can't really have a favourite. They're so different. All the landscapes have been so different. It's very difficult to pick one as what would be the best because they've all been great in their own way. Oh, wow, look at this. That is a sheer drop. This is a lot easier to walk on on this side, but yeah, that is a fuck. Jesus, man, look at it. <laughs> Living life. No handrail. Living the dream. Oh, 
is a long way down now. If you slide down there, it's game over. In these uh, stones, which is kind of colossal, they might contain ore. Oh. They can contain gold. That's uh, oh, yeah. the kind of rock that they are uh, extracting and right. molding. Yeah. Cool. So these type of rocks here could contain ore, like gold. And this shiny, uh, the shiny mineral here is called Nika. Nika. And they use that to make makeup? Makeup to make the eyeshadow. To make eyeshadow. Yeah, yeah awesome. Smash it and, you know, yeah. the glitter. Awesome. Ah, there you go. That's how they make the glitter. Yeah, and it's super teeny and, mm. it's, and it's glitter. Ah, another item that you might want to get invest in before you start is one of these bad boys. That is a life straw. It comes with a carbon filter fitted into the middle of it. No, they're not sponsoring this video, but it's a really handy thing to have, especially on this trek or any trek where there's a water source available along the route. You can just refill it anywhere and it'll be completely safe to drink. Um, we've, we've used them all, all over the place and they're fine. Also out here, the bottles of water are expensive. You're looking at over, over a pound for a litre bottle of water, uh, which is expensive. Uh, so, Getting one of these really could actually work it work in your favour. You can refill these hundreds of times and that filter will still work. Oh mate, I hope that rock's not slippery. Dan, did you just drink from that? <laughs> well I stupidly just took the lid off and drank out of it. That's tap water. Did you swallow it? Yeah. Easy as that. Starting to get a little bit tired now. The old uh, body's starting to ache a little bit. I don't know how many hours we're in we are. I don't know what time it is. It's five past one. Which means we've been going for six and a half hours. Don't know how far away we are. But having to cross the river and all that sort of jazz took up a lot of time. We're gonna have to just stay at La Cambamba tonight. I think that's what it's called. The place with a, there's a coffee plantation there. Apparently it's the best place to stay there. And they'll take on like walk-ins. We can just turn up there and hopefully she'll have a bed. They give you a tour around the, the, their uh, farm, let you try their coffee and all that. And then you stay there. You have dinner and breakfast included again. And apparently it's a nice dinner there. So I'm, oh, I don't want to get my hopes up. I don't want to start thinking about food again. Yesterday that just sent me a little bit crazy. But hopefully, hopefully we get some good food. I don't want to think about pizza. Do we have some? We have some. Have some avocado. Uh. Mm, I will find more. Loves avocado. Mm. He mm. was asking for the gods. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> avocado. <laughs> Found it. <laughs> You have salt? Salt. You're yeah. carrying salt with you? Yeah, salt, coffee, <laughs> oh. just to save money for Oh, nice. <laughs> Those guys found avocado trees back there. <laughs> Typical English. We'll just turn up, take a couple of his avocados and then fuck off. <laughs> we ain't got a clue what we're looking at, so I never would have spotted that, to be honest. But uh, yeah, they were nice avocados, fresh off the tree, man. Pretty cool. They had salt in their bag as well, so they put salt in them. Prepared. I feel like my bag's so heavy and I've got nothing like, useful. Oh, there's a little settlement here. That's not the one we're stopping at though. Um, it's quite built up, you can see it. But usually, usually all the tourists obviously walk on that side of the river. So they're all sort of set up there for when people come through. It's been seven and a half hours now, it's 2 p.m. We have not made good time today, but obviously we've had a good time. All right, we've just got into the outskirts of Lugmabamba, which is the village that we're gonna be staying in tonight. Uh, we've got about a 20 minute walk into the village to find the coffee plantation. But yeah, look, this is the, uh, this is the outskirts of the village. Can you hear the roosters? Got all the flowers. Beautiful place. Look at these. Look at that. Wow. Such a beautiful landscape. Look at the way the mountains just crisscross. 
looks so nice. <laughs> we have arrived at the uh, the coffee plantation. She's just getting us some lemonade now, which I can't wait for. So mm. I'm well thirsty, yeah. and I'm glad to be here. My body is aching. Gracias. Yeah. Yeah. Perfecto, no? Lluvia. Gracias. Here we go. Peruvian coffee, fresh from the farm. Because you have to chew the coffee. Chew the coffee. It's pretty good, isn't it? It's very smooth. Maybe that's why the coffee tastes weird because it's evaporated milk. Yeah, the coffees out here do taste weird with milk. And uh, it might be because they use this, this stuff here. Evaporated milk. That's your lemonade for It's nice coffee yeah. though. It's no milk in there. And it's still really smooth. It's not bitter at all. She's just making us some um, tomato and cheese sandwiches now. Which I can't wait for because I'm starving. Too many days without lunch. Oh, I'm not even that hungry, but if dinner's not till 7. Yeah. Time. So, at this accommodation, we're, we're getting uh, dinner, breakfast, a tour of the grounds, coffee, and accommodation for. 70 soles per person, which is 14 pounds 70 each. It's not bad at all, is it? Come on. It's dinner, breakfast, a place for the night, hot shower, coffee, a tour of their farm. Right, that's good. Like the wages haven't gone up, but people are like coming to restaurants in droves. Maybe because after COVID. wet through here. My body is aching. It's a five minute walk to the uh, to the room from the main area. Hey coffee beans if you don't know what they look like I did not know before today. shower of the trip yet that was so warm what about you Nat? <laughs> she couldn't get the hot water to work um, yeah I managed to get it to work <laughs> she didn't ask me I was what helped her I'm just gonna go do a coffee tour now and then I think we've got fish from the river for dinner and then tomorrow day four we have a choice tomorrow whether we want to just walk three and a half kilometers to the next place up the up the mountain or we can do the whole 27 kilometers in one day straight to a town near Machu Picchu. So I don't know if we're gonna do that yet. We're gonna see how we feel when we get to the top of the mountain. It's three and a half kilometers to get to the top of the mountain, but it takes about three hours. So it's a slow go. It's probably gonna be very steep, but I'm pretty sure we're probably just gonna cane it to the end tomorrow. I don't really see the point in walking up three hours and then sitting down around doing nothing all day. We might as well just keep on rolling on, but we'll see. So yeah, see you tomorrow. Thank you.